Welcome to Career Bits, the official podcast of the University Career Center here at UNC Charlotte. I'm your host, Madison, and today we are joined by the wonderful AJ Simmons. Yes, thanks for having me, Madison. It's a pleasure to be here on Career Bits as per usual. Thank you for joining us. This week, AJ and I are going to be talking about why switching your major is okay. Now, AJ, what are the main reasons that a student may want to switch their major and roughly how many students switch their major? Well, those are great, great questions. Uh, I'm going to tell you that for the latter, I would probably just be speculating. So I'm going to say a whole lot, a whole lot of students change their majors uh, each semester, each year, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, As for the former, um, you know, again, it, it's perfectly fine for folks to uh, want to change their major. Part of coming to a university is being in a setting where there's all this plethora of opportunity, right? And so there are thousands, it seems, of majors that folks can look into. Uh, and so it's perfectly fine as we explore and find our way around that we go through one or two or maybe even pick up two or three along the way. Now, do you have any advice for students who are in this mindset this first fall semester and they're not really loving the major they're with right now, what advice do you have for them to be able to think about switching their major? Yeah, that's also another great question. Uh, You know, the first thing that I like to say is try to stick it through. You know, if you're in a class that seems particularly tough, try to remember that, you know, this may be your first experience with college level coursework. Uh, This may be your first foray into exploring a particular major. And so try your best to stick it out at least this first semester uh, and see, you know, is this something that is of no interest to you and that is why it's a struggle? Or is it something that maybe you just haven't been pushed to do before? So uh, but then, of course, talk to all the people on campus, use all the resources that you have available to see are there other opportunities that might be more fitting. Now, you talked about resources on campus. Exactly what resources do we have on campus for these students to reach out to? What an excellent question. So first, of course, the University Career Center located here in Atkins Building next to the library. You can check us out also at uh, career.charlotte.edu. So we're a wonderful resource for helping folks uh, help navigate their own major and career journey. Uh, But in addition to the Career Center, of course, we have the University Center for Academic Excellence and we even have the University Advising Center where you can meet with a advisor to talk about what types of uh, options you have relating to the different majors that are available. So is it personally okay to stay with a general major such as business or engineering or will a more narrowed down major such as construction management or motorsport engineering open up more opportunities for success? That is another fantastic question. I would say the thing that opens up the door for success the most, or a short list of things rather, uh, more so than anything, more so than what you study, is putting yourself in position to be successful. And that means connecting with folks, building your social capital. That means taking a hold of all the different experiences that are available both on and off campus, whether it be volunteering, whether it be research, whether it be internships, part-time, full-time work, or even taking a leadership role with the student organization. Those are the things that are gonna help, really help you figure out what you wanna do with yourself, as well as develop the skills and the social capital to to go into that. Um, Now, majors are very important. Don't, Don't get me wrong on that one. Uh, however, I think that whether you're the, the very highly specified motorsports engineering student or you're a general business student, what makes the difference is what you're doing with your time when you're not in class uh, and who you're connecting with all the while. Why is this topic so important for you to discuss and what got you wanting to talk about switching majors through the Career Center itself? Yeah, this is an incredibly interesting topic for me because so many people change their major so frequently and I've seen where folks maybe gave up on the college experience maybe sooner than they should have uh, because they had a negative experience with the major that they had and didn't realize that there are plenty of other majors out there that they can consider or the fact that even within a particular major that they maybe didn't think they liked there were other opportunities that they had also not considered Uh, so I think it's very important to uh, 
just throw out those possibilities and let folks know that there are all sorts of things that people can be doing. There are all sorts of opportunities that exist now that did not exist five or 10 years ago. And there will be things that exist in five years that do not exist now. So the best way to go about it is, again, by getting engaged in good work, meeting people and keeping an open mind. Now, what is your perspective on the undecided major? That is a major that we have and the students will go to the university college and that's basically where they take like their gen ed classes. Now, what is your advice for those students who don't see a specific major that they like and why should they go into the undecided major? Yeah, uh, again, another great question. I think that as we're, you know, discovering ourselves, you know, we're emerging adults, we're folks who are going through our own, you know, biological, mental, social, spiritual development processes. Well, we're also going through uh, academic processes as well as we're, again, exploring ourselves and what's available to us. So I think it gives uh, a student grace to be able to declare an undecided major or to be a part of the university college while they are determining what specific major or majors they want to get into. And in addition to that, the university college is great at UNC Charlotte because there are all these different classes that folks can take that maybe aren't tied to a specific academic department, but will certainly help help set up a student for academic success. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that the University Career Center has several of those classes that are taught in the university college, including a career purpose class that will be administered in the spring, as well as other career success courses. Now, AJ, a burning question. Did you ever change your major? Yes and no. It depends on how you define change. So I entered into my undergraduate career, uh, declared as a psychology major. And during my time in college, I was exposed to something called sociology, which I had never, ever heard of before I made it to undergrad. And so the more I learned about this, this concept of sociology, you know, starting in a women and gender studies course, which really opened my eyes up to the way in which the world uh, can be. Uh, and then going all the way through these other, you know, intro to sociology and you know, all these other really cool classes, I decided that I wanted to pick up a sociology major as well. Uh, so in some ways I changed, but really I just added on to what I was doing in psychology. And for me, that's what made the most sense, that pairing of psychology, sociology, and it really helped leverage me towards my graduate career. Now, what do you have to say for the students that are thinking about double majoring or possibly adding that major to the major they started in their undergraduate years? I'm a huge proponent. I am a huge proponent. I think that, again, part of being at a university is there are so many different perspectives, so many different courses of study. And so it, it is in our best interest as individuals and collectively to expose ourselves to as many different things as we can during the short time that we have here. So, you know, picking up a minor, picking up an undergraduate certificate, picking up a double major, I'm a huge advocate for those things because you're able to really cater and craft this collegiate experience to exactly what you want, you know. So if you want a little bit of uh, biology with a touch of chemistry uh, lumped in there, that's perfectly fine. If you want to be a uh, Africana Studies student and you're also really interested in something like, uh, I don't know, physics, uh, you know, there may be an opportunity for you to, to match those as well. And I'm a huge advocate for that. Now, AJ, for the students who necessarily don't want to double major, how do you think they should go about doing a minor and adding that minor to their degree that they are pursuing? Certainly. One of the first things I do when I work with students who are considering picking up a minor is I will visit a page that, but I can tell you that I'm a huge advocate for personal agency. UNC Charlotte's list of all undergraduate minors and majors are on that page as well, but you can actually uh, filter it so that it only shows the minors that are offered here. And the first thing I like to do is just kind of peruse through and just go through some ideas for what's out there and what we may be interested in. You know, if I were the student, once I identified a couple of things that I'm interested in, then I might, you know, look into the uh, the actual requirements for those minors by clicking on the link. Then from there, if there are some minors that I'm interested in, 
I would actually reach out to my academic advisor and then see, you know, are there is there some overlap between what I'm already doing for my major and any of these preferred minors that I'm considering? And then from that point, make a decision as to is that something that I want to pick up? And of course, at any point in that process, you could talk to uh, any of us here at the Career Center and we would help you determine is that something that makes sense for where you want to take yourself? The link that AJ was talking about, if you are listening to us on our YouTube channel for Career Bits, I will add all of the links that we talk about and all of the key points so none of y'all have to forget about the information. Now, AJ, why are you such a huge advocate for the Career Center and what drew you wanting to work at the Career Center? That is an outstanding question. Well, you know, for those who don't know, I am a proud alumnus of UNC Charlotte. And so I got my master's here in community psychology. So shout out to the Department of Psychological Sciences. Uh, But I also worked here at the University Career Center as a uh, graduate assistant. And, you know, just speaking of experiences, right, uh, I mentioned that your major is very important, but I had a unique opportunity working here in this office to really play a part of the team and see just what career services is about, helping students, helping alumni navigate their path, as well as seeing the role that the University Career Center plays on UNC Charlotte's campus and in the broader career services community, both throughout North and South Carolina. So I saw that this was a good place to be. We have a wonderful dynamic team that does a whole lot of work, you know, every year. Uh, in the name uh, and for the sake of our students and alumni, and I wanted to be a part of that. And uh, it it is a gift that keeps giving. A few reminders before we end this week's podcast. The Niner Career Challenge is still going on. You have until November 30th for your chance to win spring 2022 tuition. Again, you can win spring 2022 tuition. For more information on and future events, make sure to check out our website that AJ mentioned earlier, career.charlotte.edu and our social media is on the handles at CLT Charlotte Career Center. Thank you, especially AJ, for joining us this week on the podcast and thank you all for listening to Career Bits. Have a fantastic last week of summer season. Go Niner Nation! Niner Nation!